Uh, I love being the soulbind. Well, now you're not. I took it away from you. Wait, what? Why? Because I wanted to L plus write you. What in the heck just happened? Ah, uh, classic Ninja Kiwi taking away things they shouldn't. I can help you bring it back. What did they steal from you? Well, I was the sentry paragon until they came in and stole the paragon part, after which I went and stole it back. Okay, then that sounds cool. How can we do that for me? First, we gotta give you an upgrade so you can fight. So for that, you gotta go steal the Moab and BFB's heart. Yo, Dr. Monkey, could I take the knife that you do operations with? I don't know why you'd need it, but yeah, just make sure you bring it back. Hey, Moab and BFB, I'm a new bloon. Could I stay at your place while I figure out what I'm gonna do for cash? Yeah, sure, we love having guests over. 12 o'clock midnight. I don't really know how to do an operation, but it's probably gonna work out. Five minutes later. Yep, it worked out. Yeah, what's gonna be my upgrade? I hate being upgradeless. You're gonna see. Or nothing is different in me. Yes, it is now. You're the Prince of Darkness. You're able to resurrect bloons from the dead and make them fight for us. That's pretty cool, but I'm still not the Soulbind. Bruh, stop worrying so much. That's for the next one, but look at your current power. That's pretty decent, but I still want the soul bind. Okay, then for it, you gotta go steal the Monkey Wall Street banana farm as well as you gotta make one million dollars and also sacrifice the life of a monkey. Crap, this is a very real scenario where the banana farm is behind a very complex security system. Crap, I touched one of the lasers. Frick it, I'm just running through and I'm yoinking it. Wow, that actually worked out for me. What the heck? Why have I been stolen? Shut your non-existent mouth up. Yeah, Benjamin, what's the best way to sell necromancy powers to monkeys? Oh, well, we gotta make you a two hours later. Then yeah, that's it. Thank Thanks, Ben. Dude, I would have paid for that information if I actually remembered it. Five minutes later. Okay, now I've got a site on the interwebs. Let's see what the people think. Bro, what? Okay. What if I change the font to the Goofy A uh, Geraldo font? Ten seconds later. Goofy A uh, Geraldo for the absolute win. <laughs> Yo, little dart monkey, do you want to ascend into ultimate power? Whoa, I'm five years old, I don't know what that means. Do you want powerful boom bam? Wow, pretty respected friends, tall, beautiful. Oh my god, yes, give me that now. Okay, you just gotta go into this machine. Hey, <laughs> I sent him to the dinosaur age. Yo, stupid engineer, give me the soul bind now. Bro, come on, at least give me something visual so I can look cooler. No, that's stupid now. You're the soul bind plus Prince of Darkness. You have both abilities and you're just the two upgrades into one. There's nothing special, but we can make it special. Okay, that's boring. How can we make it special then? Well, I can combine the two upgrades into a never-before-seen fusion that works together. Okay, what do I gotta do for it? You gotta go get sacrificed by the true sun god and then leave out of him so he ex explodes and you also gotta become your paragon so i can use the paragon powers for the normal you yosun avatar i know you need sacrifices so i want to be one of them what i normally kidnap them okay well i'm doing it in three two one he <laughs> he now i've escaped out of you bruh you're actually so stupid now i have no sacrifices and i'm garbage that's kind of your skill issue go kidnap the other towers now weak sunny boy you did you hear the news? The Prince of Darkness has two upgrades now. Yeah, he's getting even stronger than us. We might have to either get him out of the picture or combine our powers with him. What? Yo, what's up, guys? I fell through the hole in the ceiling. What were you talking about? Well, we were talking about how strong you were and that we want to combine with you to become even stronger. Oh, that's exactly what I came here for. Do y'all want to make a paragon? Yeah, but where do we get the cash for it from? Don't worry, I've got the money. Oh, 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 oh my God. Hey, let's go. We big now. Let's see our power. That's pretty good. Now we can pop the Blunarius. Oh no, Prince of Darkness in charge. Now I can pop the Blunarius. You engineer quickly do the thing. It's very hard to withhold two other tier 5 Essa powers for long. God, they almost overpowered me. What new things do I do? Well, now every time that a balloon leaks, you get to choose to either make your graveyard bigger by sacrificing a tower or to use some of the balloons in your graveyard for lives. And you can make it bigger until infinity and be able to tank Blunarius. What I don't trust that let me see. <laughs> What, why didn't it work? Bruh, you gotta build up your graveyard first. Two thousand years later. Oh wow, now it actually worked, but it took two thousand years. Can we not make it quicker? Yeah, we can for that. You need to go get back in time and go steal Sonic from the dinosaur age and make him meet the Sonic that's now and eat him. That's oddly specific, but okay. Rawr, I am big boy Sonic Dino, and I go fast sometimes, but I also eat a lot of peanuts. Okay, I really don't care you're coming with me to meet your new version. Prince of Darkness, why in the heck have you got my dinosaur version? Stop asking questions. Go big, Dino Boy. Eat him. That's a big no from me. He can't eat me. I'm faster than him. Brother, I'm a freaking wizard. I can just stun you in your place. Okay, go big, Dino Boy. Eat him. Crap, I can't move. Nom, nom, nom. Ooh.
Good big boy Dano. Bro, this quest was way too easy. Give me a harder one next time. It is a wonderful life. Please could you Now your graveyard gets filled up 10 times quicker, and each dollar is now worth plus 100 space in the graveyard so you can easily make it bigger. Okay, that's pretty good now. I can easily tank Blunarius's, but it still takes a bit of time, and in that time they might leak. So I need attacks too. Can we upgrade my Prince of Darkness aspect? Yes, absolutely for that. You're gonna need to go and turn into a fake Moab and get resurrected into the Lich's graveyard and go hit him in the heart, and you also gotta get Blunarius's soul. Yo, Jericho, can I get a fake Moab skin onto me? Yeah, but first you gotta go pop some Moabs. Okay, here you go. Yo, Leich, I'm a dead Moab. Can you resurrect me? Hmm, I haven't seen you before, but yeah, I'll give you the benefit of the doubt. Now you're resurrected. Also, another question, where is your heart? Probably somewhere in my fat stomach. Why are you asking? No reason. Yo, Sniper, could I take your rifle for a bit so I can shoot Lich in his fat stomach? Yeah, sure, just make sure to give it back. 360 Ooga Booga Booga! Yo, Steve, could I buy an anvil so I can drop it on Blunarius's fat, ugly face? Oh, yeah, we all love abusing bloons, especially fat ones. Ah, I love being an alive, fat, green, Shrek-looking bloon. Anvil always works like planned. Hello, I'm from the FBI, and we're searching for the stolen cripple Moab gun. Uh, Quincy stole it. Yo, I almost got caught by the FBI. Give me the next upgrade. Yo, it's your boy, Boltrix. Make sure to subscribe to the Mr. Ender channel. Bro, why do I get no visual changes? Because you already look cool enough. Now you're able to summon even Zongs and Bads and even Fat Boy Blunarius, which means that you can do up to 100 million damage with a single graveyard charge. Okay, that's pretty cool now. I pop two and a half elite Blunariuses with one graveyard. Well, you used to, yeah, but now that the elite Blunarius saw how mean you were to the normal one for being fat, he decided to start going to the gym, and now he has 15 billion GP. Crap, that's a lot. I need to be able to pop him. What's for the next upgrade? For the sixth one, you need to go make the most powerful attack and also become the president of the Monkey City without manipulation. Yo, Booger God, how can I make the most powerful attack ever? Well, we gotta combine one of my attacks with one million dollars as well as the true sun god with the mad and the ray of doom. Crap, I've run out of cash already. Yo, Benjamin, can I loan one million dollars? Yeah, but if you don't bring it back, I'm calling the FBI on you. Yo, true sun god, do you want this really tasty cookie for free? Oh yeah, thanks, Pod. No, no, no. Hey, now he's mind controlled by me. Yo, Matt and Rod here, you go two cookies since you're one of the best balloon popping machines. Thanks, Prince, you're really nice. No, no, no. He, he mind control for the win. Yo, booger, man, I got them all. What do we do now? Hey, just bash them together. Two of them are robots. They're gonna be fine. What now? Nothing happened. Oh, I just gotta do this. Wow, that's actually so shiny. Here you go, the most powerful attack. I actually don't know why you'd need it. Hey, beautiful people from the most beautiful city with the most beautiful citizens, I have the most powerful attack. So please vote for me, you beautiful community. Oh my god, he called us beautiful. Yes, of course, we're voting for you. I'm the FBI yet again. This time I need to charge you $1 million as you didn't return it to Benjamin. I don't care, bye, loser. The FBI almost got me again. Please give the next epic upgrade. Hamburger cheeseburger, Big Mac Whopper, hamburger cheeseburger. You have nothing visual again, since I hate making those. But now your normal attacks do three times more damage. Your graveyard does ten times more damage. And the balloons in your graveyard are way bigger and take up more space for more damage. Okay, that's pretty cool now. I can do one billion damage of the fifteen billion I need, but that's still not enough. Can we not upgrade Soulbind to make it help with the damage? Oh yeah, of course we can. For that, you need to go buy one thousand lives potions from Geraldo, as well as make a little chip go inside of the spike factory that has a camera and can see what's on the inside of it, and then explode the outside and only have the inside left. Yo, Geraldo, can I buy 1,000 of your life potions, please? Why in the heck do you need so many? Because I want to feel alive. Brother, you're undead. You can't feel alive. Can you just give me the potions? Yeah, here you go. The engineer, can we make a little chip that has a camera and is able to self-destruct whenever I tell it to? Yeah, sure. How small do you want it? About zero point. 0.01 millimeters. Bruh, what for that? You need to bring me the Bloon Master Alchemist potion. Yo, Bloon Master Alchemist, could I buy one of your potions? What? No, I don't sell my secret potion. <laughs> Thank God I still had the anvil left from earlier. Yo, I got the potion. Okay, let me just apply it onto the chip. Here you go. Yo, Super Minds, look at this really cool chip. Oh, whoops, it fell inside of you. Oh, well. Wow, it's an infinite Ikea made out of Lego. I knew it. That's where it got its spikes from. It all makes sense now. There's an infinite Ikea inside of a spike factory that makes all the spikes. Shut up, you conspiracy theorist, and just let me upgrade you. Number 15, Burger King Foot Lettuce. 
Wow, finally you learned how to add color. Just be grateful for your upgrade. Now your lives are up. So every life that you leak, you gain two extra lives so you can absolutely never die. Oh no, Blunarius, I am too weak. I cannot beat you. You can just go and leak. Okay, lol, bye, loser. Hey, 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 stupid Blunarius. He's the biggest and fattest L ever. Ah, what a good day it is to be born. You are the most OP tower. Wait, I'm overpowered. Yeah, you can literally solo chimps. Yo, Jerry man, I heard you're selling an action figure of me. I am? I mean, yeah, I am. All right. Well, how much does it cost? Well, right now, I think it costs about 10 million. That's 18,000 times more expensive than me. You welcome to the Powerful Heroes Club. Were you able to one tower chimps too? Yeah, but only on a specific map. Nice, you do know you're gonna get nerfed though, right? Nah, why would they do that? Three, two, one, go! I told you. Sauda, what did I tell you about speaking with other men? I'm so sorry, Azabi. We're going to have to have a long talk when we get back home. What the hell, man? Who are you? Where the hell am I? You're in the Bloons universe, but who are you? I'm the Ender Dragon from Minecraft. I don't know how I ended up here. I teleported you here just so you can meet the peasants in our world. Okay, then how much health do you have? That's decent, but I have... Bro, what, you're a big balloon, how is that possible? And I also spawn extra balloons that are about 8 million HP overall. Yo, what's up, big black guy, what do you do? Well, I can put a withering effect on mobs and easily kill them, though I can get bedrock trapped. Sounds cool, how much health do you have? That's okay, I have... Bro, that's actually unfair. Wait, what? Come on, Quincy, get him already. Who are you? finally took care of these stupid bosses. Yeah, what do you do? We didn't get to meet fully. What was that sound? <laughs> Is the Ring of Fire still overpowered? Nah, it's so bad that people ironically say rough up. Bro, what, what does the Tier 5 do at least? Well, I shoot a giant ball that roams around the map and whenever it hits balloons, it splashes. The balloons might enjoy it if they are into that. So how up are we from 1 to 10? Maybe a 4. <laughs> so I heard that we're called Isab now? Yeah, that's my name and we're also in love with a girl character from the game. Bro, we're game characters. How can y'all be in love? Just shut up. Okay, well, how much damage do you do? What I only do. Oh, wow, that's a really bad skill issue. Even my love can do more. Oh, brother, I forgot I existed in BT. D5, how much damage do you do? Nice, I do. Bro, what, what else do you do? Well, I leave little puddles on the ground that deal 20 damage and have six pierce, making me better than Permaspike. First thing, you're not better than me. Second thing, he's from BTD5, so he doesn't even know me. L plus ratio. You, who are you? You look like me. I'm Agent Jericho. Huh. Yeah, I have an ability that takes $250 from the opponent. What I only make $70 per round. L. What else do you do? Well, I can summon a fake Moab, which has infinite HP and makes the towers focus on it. Interesting. Well, I can send a BFB from my side to my opponent's side, and I can be spammed infinitely. Bro, what? That's even more OP-ness than me. <laughs> Yo, I heard you're the most over powered tower is that true yes, yes sir. sir i'm the most overpowered too or that's at least what the creator of this video thinks since he doesn't play battles 2 anymore big w battles 1 is a way better game he doesn't play either okay whatever what do you do well i can one shot zom g's install anything until infinity bro a vacuum cleaner is better than me okay i am gone you're trash bro what i'm a demon slayer what you're a ninja what are you talking about but I also have a huge sword on me called the Cursed Blade Demon. So you're the demon and you're not hunting them? Yeah, but I also have your path, but ten times cheaper and ten times more powerful. So in other words, your developer is mentally insane. So I'm guessing you're more OP than me, right? I don't know, what can you do? Well, I have a giant yellow beam of plasma that does millions of damage, a green ray of doom of ultimate annihilation, which does thousands of damage a second and an MAD, but ten times more powerful. So you thought you were weaker than me, right? Yeah. Ain't no way this pixel is stronger than me. Who are you calling a pixel, bro? I'm the Annihilator. Annihilate D's nuts. Cocky ass, how much damage do you do? Oh, crap. All right, boys. Come in here. I need some help. Gang fast, come. I need backup. Okay, boys. Never mind. We got a dip. Nah, not so quickly. I'm not scared of some crusty old skeleton. Bro, I have 270,000 health. That's nothing. Our Blunarius has 40 million, and he's still easy for me. I'm equal to about 250 million health in your game. Oh, I died. 
Oh, yeah, and I also spawn hundreds of small enemies that attack you whilst you're trying to hit my weak spot, which is tiny. Did you take shrooms? Oh, yeah, you also get a portal gun uh, when you kill me and some sick-ass swords that do a lot of damage. So you are not that hard and you give insane loot, okay? Let me get my gang over and we'll kill you. Bro, I just wanted to introduce myself. Wow, you're really ugly! Bro, couldn't you say something nice? You have some pretty eyes. Thank you. Wow, I really don't want to kill you now. Either way, you wouldn't be able to since I move all across the map and you're stuck in a singular spot. That's true. Let me get my friend on. I do 500 damage a second. Okay, goodbye. What the hell are you? Your paragon. Since when do I have a paragon? That's the thing you don't... What? I'm from a mod. Oh, cool. What do you do? Well, I can shoot out infinite Moab Eliminator missiles and also do 5 billion damage per shot. Now I see why you're not in vanilla. What the hell a tier 12 tower? Yeah, I'm a little bit overpowered. Why, how much damage do you do? How the hell did you become this way? Well, I had to poison the VTSG so I could collect his soul, which I gave to the Prince of Darkness that made me a potion for it and made me powerless for three days. And then I got the form that I'm in. I'd rather just stay like this. Why the hell is a chicken fighting the balloons? I could ask the exact same question for monkeys. Fair enough. What do you do? Well, I'm Tootie's chicken, so I do some pretty cool stuff. I throw seeds, but I also beam sun rays onto the balloons from the sky. Oh, you're a modded boss. You must be garbage. Garbage, you say? Okay, then how much health do you have? That's pretty nice, I have. Dude, why am I so trash? I don't know, why are you asking me? Ninja Kiwi, why did you make me so trash? Well, I just felt like it. Well, can you feel like buffing me? Depends on what you're willing to do for it. Literally anything I can suck your toes if you want to. That would be nice, but the task is for you to go and assassinate Permaspike in a cute way. I can only count to Oh, hey, Superminds. Yeah, what were you listening to? Hard rock. Cool, do you want to come with me to the circus? It's going to be fun. Yeah, sure, why not? What? I think that was pretty cute. <coughs> Definitely cute. I see that you have done the thing. Yes, now what kind of powers are you going to give me? I have buffed you to make you 50 times stronger than Permaspike. Dude, Permaspike is dead. Zero times 50 is still equal to zero. Oh, I made a huge mistake. <laughs>